Today I'm going over InVision's new design software, InVision Studio. I'm going to give you the inside scoop of what you need to know about it, as well as my review of it so far. My name is Luke Sievers with One9 Pro. I'm a brand designer and web marketing consultant. And real quick, if you don't know anything about InVision, they basically provide a collaboration tool for UX and UI designers to communicate their ideas to a developer. So they create these prototypes and then the developer can go and develop that app or that website. So if you're not familiar with these terms UI and UX, real quick, open up an app on your phone and anything visual that you see from the design to the layout, that's called UI or user interface. The way that you actually navigate and interact with the app seamlessly, that's created through UX or user experience. So UI and UX are very closely related. It's about designing a product so that it meets the user's needs and the expectations of what they expect that product to do. So last year, InVision announced that they would be developing this new design software um, that would accompany their existing product. It's called Studio, and it actually rivals similar software like Sketch or Adobe XD. So Studio is a way that you can create prototypes for apps or other web applications. Um, it really feels like the real thing. You can interact with it um, and see exactly what that app would look like. Just a few months ago, I got my invite to start beta testing this product, or what they call early access. Now, I was super excited about this because I've done some UI and UX design in the past. It was exciting to become an early adopter and to test something that I really enjoy myself. Now, one thing to note is that right now, it's only available for Mac. They've assured us that they're going to come out with a PC version eventually as well, but you'll have to just keep an eye out for that. But without further ado, let me share about seven things that I'm really loving about this product so far. Now the first thing I immediately notice about this product is that it's very simple and very minimal. Now as opposed to something like Photoshop or Illustrator, you'll notice that there's a lot less options and tools. I can see how some designers may not like this, but personally I love it. I think it's great that they're sticking to the basics especially because it's meant for a specific type of design and it doesn't necessarily need all those bells and whistles. The overall feel is just very clean and I like that. Um, it makes sense that a company that helps um, designers create user experiences is going to major on UX for their own product. So the second notable feature is the ability to create interactive prototypes. With InVision Studio, you can easily add interactions to different buttons or menu items that will take you to the next screen. So you can start to navigate it as if it were a real app. Now InVision, they've already included this in their existing product, um, but before you would have to upload um, a JPEG of all your screens or you'd have to upload a Photoshop file and it just took a lot longer. Here it's just a simple click of a button and it's completely live on InVision's online software. Also, you have the ability to view your prototype on your phone through InVision's mobile app. So you can actually interact with it as if it were a real mobile app. Next, Studio allows you to create truly responsive design for your prototypes. So instead of designing for just one screen resolution, you can design for any resolution and any device size. You do this by sizing your elements by percentage rather than pixel. So as the screen um, expands, your different elements will expand based on the ratio that you've selected. Also, you can select a different position and pin it to that position. So whether it's the top, bottom, left, right, or the center, your um, element will maintain its position no matter how big or small the screen is. All right, number four. InVision Studio has the capability for you to include advanced animations. Now this is something a lot of designers are super excited for. And honestly, it's one of the competitive advantages of this software. So you can create really robust transitions between screens or hover effects, you name it, all using the timeline feature, which works very similar to After Effects. So on to number five, it's free. That's right, free. As someone who wasn't too excited when Sketch moved to their subscription model, 
I was pretty stoked about this. Now you might be asking, how can Envision do this? Well, currently through their online platform, you're able to add different prototypes that you can work on for different projects. And I believe you can add up to three for free, but then after that, there is a cost for a monthly subscription. From what I can tell, Envision sees Studio as a way to add value to their existing product. They're hoping to get designers hooked on this new software so that they will become regular customers and uh, sign up for those collaboration tools that they offer. So a brand new feature that they recently announced is their App Store. So there's currently not any apps on there yet, but the idea is they're going to open it up for third-party developers like Slack, Trello, Getty Images, etc. to create these apps that integrate with Envision Studio. So there's a lot of potential here. Um, now it's unclear at this point if these apps will cost money, um, and that could be part of Envision's revenue model. So we'll see about that. So the last point I want to make is that I found that they have a customer support team that really listens. Now I will have to tell you that because it's in beta, there are still some features missing and there are still bugs. For example, you know, I really um, wish I could do the command colon like you can in Photoshop to show the rulers and the guides and add custom guides, but you can't do that yet. Um, also, there's a really cool feature called components, which allows you to create um, buttons and um, headers and footers that you can reuse in multiple screens. So when you edit one of those components, it um, applies those edits to all um, those other components. So that's pretty cool, but there are still some bugs with it. But throughout this process, I've been a part of their official Facebook group, uh, which they created so that we can provide our feedback and the things that we think still need to be improved on. And I found them to be incredibly receptive to our feedback throughout the process, which is cool. In fact, recently they actually posted an update um, asking us what are some features that are kind of make or break it for, um, for releasing this final product, their general access product. So that tells me that it's coming out pretty soon. But overall, I've just been very impressed with their customer support team and it tells me that they're going to provide good customer service moving forward. All right, so that's my review of Envision Studio. Um, probably once they release the full product, I'll have some more videos talking about that. But hopefully this gives you an idea of what's to come. If you want to learn more about Envision Studio, be sure and check the link in the description below. So if you enjoyed the content for today, be sure and give it a like, and also subscribe to get more tips for business, marketing, and design. And if you have any specific questions that you would like me to cover on these videos, be sure and add a comment in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.